Hello, this is Don with MechSoft Support. In this short video, I wanted to show you how easy it is to set up your part uh, and your stock uh, for two and a half and three axis operations. As you can see, I have a part, 3D part here on the screen. And after you load your part, you make sure your uh, RhinoCam 2016 browsers are displayed. You can turn them on. Uh, from the Rhino Camp 2016 main menu here and we're going to work from left to right the first thing we want to do is select the machine icon to display the machine tool setup dialog now initially uh, all you really need to do from this dialog is make sure that your number of axes is set to three axis and uh, that's pretty much it for now pick OK there and you'll see that the machine now is set to three axis. Next, we'll work working from left to right. So we'll select the post icon and this will display the set post processor options dialog. Now here, you want to uh, select your current post processor. Now this will depend on what controller your CNC machine is currently using. We have uh, built in over 250 posts already configured for many different machines. Uh, for this post, uh, let's select the Haas. And if your post is not on the list, we can easily configure one uh, for you. Uh, there's an edit button here on the right. Just select that. And it displays our post process generator. Uh, it, which we can control every aspect of the post and we can configure one based on g-code samples uh, that you provide us. Also uh, on this dialog you want to set your posted file extension. We have predefined file extensions here. If your file extension is not on the list you can pick this button uh, to add one very easily. Also, uh, that's about it on this dialog, and uh, we'll pick OK here, and we'll see that our post is set. Now, working from left to right, uh, based on your configuration, uh, if you're using the standard configuration, you're only going to have one setup that you can uh, set up for each part. Uh, higher configurations, you have different options for uh, creating uh, multiple setups. Now for your stock, for this part, uh, we'll create a box stock. So we'll select the stock menu and we'll select box stock. The stock displays on the screen highlighted for you to look at. And initially, you probably want to select the copy model bounding box button and it will display the actual length, width and height of your 3D part. Now, if you have any wireframe geometry or drawings or anything on uh, displayed on the part, you can select this toggle here to ignore them uh, while calculating the bounding box. So you see here that we have a length, width, and height displayed. We can round this off to say 19 for the length, 13 for the width, and say two inches for the height. And also, if you want to initially uh, tell it where to measure these uh, dimensions from, you can select one of the corners uh, on the box in this dialog. So we'll pick OK there. You see that our stock got uh, larger as we, in as we wanted, and it's displayed on the screen. Now also, we can align the stock uh, based on the part. So we'll select the Align menu, pick Align Stock, and with this dialog, you can choose to uh, align your stock uh, in relation to your part. For this part, we have a flat bottom. So we're going to align it to, in the z-axis. We're going to align it to the bottom of the part. And for the x and y, we're going to center it directly in the middle of the part so that we have material on all sides and the top. Pick OK there. And you'll see that we have material all around and we have material on the top and it's flush with the bottom. Also, we can set the material, since this part's gonna be machined out of wood, uh, probably mahogany, we'll set the material, select the material dialog, we'll set it to wood, 
pick OK. And you can select this toggle down here to display your material texture if you want to see it on the part. For now, let's just turn that texture off. Now, now that we have the machine defined, the post defined, we have an initial setup, we have our stock defined, we have the stock aligned with the part, we have a material for the stock defined. Uh, one more step we can do now is we can go ahead and set up a work zero that we're going to use as a touch off point to home our CNC machine. So we'll pick work zero. For this example, we'll set it to our stock box. And for the zero face, we'll set it to the highest Z and the southwest corner of the stock. Now, this is the uh, world origin and the setup origin uh, of the part by default. This is the work zero that we're going to set up uh, for this particular setup. Now, you can also choose to turn and, off and output the uh, work offset. G54 is here. Go ahead and pick generate. And you see that we have, we now have a work zero set. And now we're ready to create our two and a half and three axis operations. Well, this is it for now. You can get more information about the product by visiting us at www.mexsoft.com. Thank you.